Play to Potential podcast. My belief and what I have written in Catalyst is the impact of work on life is lesser than the impact of life on work. Say more. Yeah. And fundamentally, let's take an anecdote. Uh, there was an anecdote of Albert Einstein uh, who goes on to say in his biography that he believes that he was a great physicist and a scientist because he played a lot of violin in his life. And he believes that helped him be a great physicist and scientist. It's just an anecdote on what you do in your life. But if you were to bring it down to you and me, to succeed in work, for example, you have to be a good team player. Now imagine somebody who's played a lot of team sports in their life, what we call as life. Yeah. Does it have some bearing on how they will be as a team player at work? Right. Now this doesn't mean you can't be a good team player if you haven't played team sports. But I'm just linking and saying the stuff you do in your life has bearing on your work. And hence the question is, can you design your life? Now, all this is happening by accident. Einstein uh, happened to be born in a family who, who was Western classical passion. His mother started teaching him violin at the age of four. Now, if he had been born in some other family, maybe he would not have learned violin. Maybe you and me wouldn't have played team sports based on our constructs. Yeah. So, this happens by accident. What we do in our life happens by accident. Suppose we were to turn it around and were to say, that I want to live my life and design my life in a certain way, which enhances my probability of success at work, what would I do? Would I actively play more team sports? Yeah, it not only gives me sports and health and benefit, but it also helps me do learning, something sorry, else. There's a learning cycle which impacts work, learning right? cycle, to use yeah. the language. Would I actively choose to pursue certain hobbies? And I have a chapter on passionate striving hobbies, as I call it. Passionate and striving being the key qualifiers. And pursuing those hobbies, would it help me at work? Would I actually actively seek to do some kind of social missions, which improves my understanding of human behavior and people and raises my empathy and my listening, which makes me a better leader? Play to Potential Podcast.